गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स सो फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन वर्ड्स वी आर गोइंग टू डू रिविशन क्लास फॉर सी ए इंटर सो इन दिस वीडियो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस पॉइंट नंबर वन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हु इज अ होल्डर एंड हु इज होल्डर इन ड्यू कोर्स वॉट इज सैंस रिकोर्स एंडोर्समेंट वॉट इज सैंस प्राइस what is noting and protesting so this is the first video of the revision session so now we'll start with what is holder holder means a person who is having the bill for example <coughs> mr x who doesn't have money to readily pay the for the product readily pay for the product he used to sign a bill now mr a who accepts to pay the bill is called drawee for example mr b sold some goods to mr a he draws the bill in exchange of some money so mr b who is the owner of the bill is called drawer so you should understand the concept of drawer and drawee now when the drawee is liable to pay and the drawer is having ownership that is he is having the right to receive now when the drawer who is having the right to receive when he transfer his rights to some other person he is a endorser he becomes a endorser when the endorser transfer his rights to another person that person is called endorsee now this endorsee is today the holder in case if the endorsee lost the bill and the bill is obtained by some other person he is the holder of the bill now if it is lost or it is legally transferred the person becomes a holder now what is the holder in due course the holder may become holder in due course in case if certain conditions are satisfied condition number 1 in case if the person legally got the possession of the bill for a value consideration for a value consideration before the maturity before the maturity he got it in good faith he got it in good faith at that time he doesn't know that there is a defect in the bill so four points value consideration before maturity <coughs> it doesn't know that there is a defect and he got it in good faith if this four condition is satisfied this person becomes holder in due course so for example if i give a bill as a gift to another person that next person will not become holder in due course but he is a holder of the bill <coughs> if the second person did some fraud and took the bill from me he will be holder but he will not be holder in due course because consideration is missing gift also consideration is missing in the second case fraud he is not even got in good faith so these things so this is the first point holder and holder in due course i am not going in deep etc i am just doing a revision of it and next question is what is sans recourse endorsement see every endorsee is liable every endorsee is <coughs> liable that is every endorser is liable to the endorsee basically so one person becomes endorser to the endorsee and the second person if he endorses he becomes the endorser so for example a negotiate the instrument to b and b negotiate instrument to c and c negotiate instrument to d now in case if d is going to claim this money from the drawee say for example z is the drawee a is the drawer a to b b to c c to d now d is going to claim the money from z in this case d is the payee and z is the drawee drawee has to pay the payee now in case if the bill got dishonored d has a right to claim it from 
all the prior parties say C, B and A. In case, <coughs> if D again give it to A in the circle, okay, for example, Z is a drawee, A is the drawer, A endorsed to B, B endorsed to C, C endorsed to D, again D endorsed to A. Now, when again A go and ask Z, the drawee, to pay the money, if Z fails to pay the money, now, in normal scenario, A cannot claim D because it is a circle and the circle got over. So, the prayer parties will be absolved. The prayer parties will be absolved. Now, in case if you put sans recourse endorsement, the prayer parties will not be absolved. So, A can claim D. D can claim B. So, even though A is a starting point and the circle got over, again the A can do it in reverse. In case if it is sans recourse endorsement. In case if there is no sans recourse endorsement, once the circle got over, that is A is the starting point and it come again to A. It's not, it's not only for A. For example, uh, A to B, B to C, C to D. If D gives to B, okay, then in case the bill got dishonored, B cannot claim it from D because D got the bill through C, C got the bill through B. So the circle got over. So in case if the bill got dishonored, B can claim only from Z and A. So Z is only dishonoring the bill. So only A is responsible for it. This is the thing. This is sans recourse. Sans recourse means the prayer parties will not be absolved. This is one thing. The next thing is sans price. Before that you should understand what is noting and protesting. In case the bill is dishonored for non-payment. I repeat, dishonored for non-payment. So on the maturity date, if the bill is presented for payment and if it got dishonored for non-payment by the drawee, in case drawee in case of need also, in that scenario what will happen? <clears throat> in case if it is a foreign bill, it is said that noting and protesting is necessary. In case if it is inland bill or if it is checked, noting and protesting is not necessary. Now, bill got dishonored for non-payment. Now, you have to take the bill to notary public and ask him to represent the bill to the drawee. So, the notary public will do one representing. Then, so this representing the bill is called noting. That means, the person, the legal person, okay, who is qualified person to represent the bill to the drawee. This person, the drawee, if he say that I will not pay, again dishonor then the representing act is called noting and giving a certificate yes it got dishonored it's called protesting so uh, this is noting and protesting in case if you are going to bring in a notary public there will be some expenses no so if in case if the drawee dishonors your bill not only the bill value but also for the expenses incurred for doing noting and protesting should also be paid by the drawee to the person, okay, the payee, in case if he goes to court. This expense is generally to be reimbursed. But in case if it is a sans price endorsement, this expenses need not be, okay, reimbursed. This is the point. So, sans price. Okay. So, uh, this is our first video. Uh, have a look at this video. Share with your friends. Um, <coughs> So ask them to join the group as soon as possible. We will do, uh, it's not like one day one video. I will post multiple videos in the same day also. Uh, I just want to do a trial run with this video. We will start. Thank you.